Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well this morning. You know the Bible speaks to us about peace, and peace is a very important thing. Peace is a, well it's a calmness. Peace is a security. It's um, it's kind of like uh, maybe a grandmother or a grandfather holding their grandchild. Uh, it's just it's just a an, a wonderful thought, and, and get in my mind a minute and think about you holding a baby or uh, someone that you have given peace to, that they're calm. Uh, how wonderful is it to have peace uh, when you are hurting, when people are afraid, uh, when there is um, drama going on, that somebody can wrap their arms around you, maybe someone that's had cancer, uh, maybe someone that uh, has faced a, a loss in their life, maybe someone that's scared of the future, uh, and you have arms wrapped around you or you wrap your arms around someone else and there's a security there there's a peace there how wonderful is that peace well you know jesus talked about peace of course according to the scripture he's the prince of peace but he talked about peace a couple of different times well more than that but two i want to draw your attention to one of those times is in mark chapter four when the disciples are on the ship and the waves are tossing out Several of these disciples were experienced fishermen, so the water wasn't a, a new thing for them. But while they're on there, this particular time, uh, the storm's great. It came up all of a sudden. It could come from out Hebron down, and just in a few minutes, the storm could whip up on the Sea of Galilee that was just terrible. Well, Jesus is asleep in the boat, and, and the disciples are trying to fight this, this sea uh, storm, and and well, they can't do anything, so they come to Jesus and they ask him, you know, you know, will you get up and, and help us here? And of course, Simon Peter, uh, most likely uh, the speaker, said, uh, you know, don't you care that we're about to perish? And Jesus gets up, if you remember the story, Jesus gets up and he puts his hands up and he says, peace, be still. Now, why? Why would Jesus say, peace, be still? It looks to me like he would say to the sea, be still, or the wind, stop. But he did speak to the wind and he did speak to the sea. The Bible does tell us that in Mark 4. But it says when he spoke to them, he said, peace. Peace be still. Have you ever wondered why Jesus did that? Well, the, the disciples had had some experience with Jesus uh, by this time. And they had seen some things happen in his life. And they had a comfort that he was who he says uh, he, he is. But because of this personal situation, their peace uh, began to be floundering. They, they, once peaceful in one situation doesn't mean peace in another situation. I mean, I'm talking to somebody right now that you've got peace in some areas of your life. Well, in other areas of your life, you, you're, you have unrest. Uh, you're, you're very comfortable with, with, with some of the stuff that's going on with you, and you, you're handling it fine by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, but other things... Uh, you don't know what's going on. Well, what Jesus is doing here is Jesus is saying to his disciples, the peace that you have, even in the midst of the storm, can be okay. It can be okay. He spoke to the winds, he spoke to the sea, but he said, peace, calm down. Just calm down. I tell you today that God much rather would have us to calm down and deal with issues than to let the issues deal with us. Oh, say, man, somebody, see, that was good. You need to really hang on to that. I just need to calm down and let and let the peace of God deal with my situation instead of letting my situation dictate how I react. Well, in John 21 is another, John 20 is another example. Jesus, after his resurrection, comes into where his disciples are and they're there because they're afraid. They don't know what's going to happen. Jesus is resurrected now. He has gone back to heaven in their minds. They're there by themselves now, and they don't know what to do. They're afraid. They have the door locked. And Jesus comes and stands in the middle of them. He comes through the door. He stands in the middle of them, and he says, Peace be unto you. Peace I give you. He, he, see, that they, they had an unrest. They were afraid. You know, I'm talking to somebody now and because of fear in your life, you don't know what's going to happen. And you're afraid. Uh, may I tell you that Jesus Christ loves you and cares for you and he'll take care of you. you. You might be concerned about an aged parent or a spouse 
or a child or a grandchild or a friend or a church member uh, or a leader and and your unrestfulness is wearing you out and Jesus said to these disciples peace I give unto you I want you to I want you to embrace peace I want you to take it uh, Jesus is the master and all things are under his feet and whatever you're facing whatever you are facing that's pulling you down or pushing you down is still under his feet he has control he has power he has authority he wants to provide for you peace in the midst of the storm peace in the midst of fear that you might prevail and show others that our God is awesome our God is able everyone at some point is talking about the country the economic problems the war uh, whatever we have received gas prices lowered as of late but you know they, they may change I don't know but we always are talking about things and somebody in that conversation is always saying you know it's bad it's bad it's worse it's worse somebody needs to be the light in that conversation somebody needs to put Jesus in there that could be you See, so your, your, your potential in shining this light of the glorious gospel is awesome. So I just want to encourage you today to be aware that the devil will try to rob you of your peace because of your circumstances and your situations. And then he will try to cause you to doubt and be afraid because of your uncertainty. That's what the disciples were doing. They, they were unsure of what's going to happen. So they were, oh man, they, they were afraid. And Jesus said, peace I give to you. How wonderful is it today to know that the peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds, that is your emotions and your intellect, through Christ Jesus. So today God wants to help you, and if you'll let him, he'll bless you for it. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.